Hi everyone, it's Louise from 805 Soap, and today we're going to be talking about the Presto food, uh, Salad Shooter. Um, it's an electric shooter. Um, I've been using it for quite a few years now, and um, it's fabulous. Um, I only use this for soaping. I don't bring it into my home, and I don't bring it back and forth. I just leave it in the soap room. I got mine. It was on sale. It was cheap. It was less than $10. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them at thrift stores, you can find them probably at garage sales. Um, they're great. They come, this one came with four attachments, and this one here. I only use this one. I like this one a lot. It's the grater. So I don't use a lot of these. They make different curls and shapes and things, but you can try them. I mean, that's, if, if that's what works, do it. Um, really easy to assemble. You have a, a, the piece here, it's got a ring and it slides right on. Always in front of the camera, you can't do it right. <laughs> oh. it, it just clicks right on there. There you go. Okay. Um, you put in your cutting blade and you put your ring on top and you'll hear it snap and it's locked. This is a depressor. This goes in the top to push your soap down. Never, ever put your hands in here, okay? Because there's a blade in there, okay? And it's turning, and it's turning fast. So you want to be really careful with this. Um, I've had my machine, like I said, for a couple years. Some of you know I have a drawer over here filled with my shreds. Um, but you can put your shreds in, like, a shoebox. You can store them in things like this if you're not doing as many. Um, anything that's covered, you can even put it in a box. You can do anything. Here's an example of some of my shreds in my soap. So what I like to do is mix the soaps, mix the shreds, and you get different colors. Okay? So what you can do is I keep my shreds, like I said, separate. You saw them there in the bin. The first thing you have to do is get a mold. So I use the drawer organizers from the dollar store or the Dollar Tree. And this one is 56 ounces. I make 56 ounces at a time, usually. You don't have to make this many, this much. Um, the, these drawer organizers are a dollar a piece. They're the 56 ounces, 55 ounce, two and three and a half pounds. They also sell the small one which is like two, two and a half pounds. These are two for a dollar. And if you're new, these are the small ones. These are three for a dollar. So these, I mean, I started using these. I went up to this and now I'm into this. I don't know what's next after this. This, <laughs> this is pretty big. Um, but here's, here's the molds that I use. Okay. They're all found at the Dollar Tree. Inexpensive. You can use them for soap afterwards. Um, mine is dirty right now. I just pulled some um, color loaves out of here. So the other thing I wanted to discuss is colorants. Okay, when you're making a colorant for your color blocks, mine take about two tablespoons per 55 ounces. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less, but these are with the colorants that I use. You're going to have to test your colorants to see what color, how deep you want the colors. You want to make them that they're deep enough that you can see them in a soap, okay? So you want to make them pretty strong colors. Um, I also mix the clear and I also mix them with the opaque, okay? So try both diff you know, different bases with colorants and you'll get different colors. Some are more vibrant, some are, some are more opaque. So after I've done that, I take my knife and I slice them. And I slice them probably less than a half inch. And this is hard, probably like that. Okay, and I'll slice them all up before I start going because when I start going, I just grab them and put them in there. What I also do is I make sure that I do this once. I only handle it once. You can put it in a bowl. 
but I get something up high. I put this up here. I put my container that they're stored in. Now, if you weren't using this container, you could also use this container and this would be fine. They'll just go right in the bowl. So instead of handling them like 14 million times, which soapers we kind of sometimes do. So I just put it up here like this. I'm gonna grab like two or three of these different colors of pink. And sometimes I'll take them and I'll flip them around, okay? And they should fit right in there. Let me put this down. They should fit, three of them will fit right in here, okay? Then I just push them down, okay? And then I take this, this is on top. You're not gonna be able to see this, but when I'm doing the machine, I'm gonna be pushing this down. I'm gonna be pushing this down so the soap goes down. And I'm gonna show you right now how, how I do this. Really easy, but it's gonna get loud, so. Did you hear the machine how when when I depress this on the top on the top here it's done when this goes all the way down it's done so you just take it and you just shake it out now you don't want to put your finger in there because the machine is still on what I do recommend is though that you take it and that's fine that'll be fine so I just made some more soap curls so this is how you make you, you, you use your salad shooter um, it's a great attachment, it's a great product for if you're soaping, if you're doing a lot of curls, if you want a different design instead of making just plain soaps, to adding some curls to your soaps gives it texture and depth. People like to see that. They like to see all of the colorants. This one I think I used four colorants. I used um, green, orange, brown, and I think there's a yellow in there. Three or four colors. So I just mix them. I make all different kinds of colors. I make all different kinds of um, uh, shreds. And then I, I, I take them in a bowl. And then I'll mix them up in a bowl. Like I take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red or a little bit of orange. I'll mix them up into a bowl until I like the color. And then I'll put them in there. I try to match my colors with the fragrance of the soap. This soap is Japanese Cherry Blossom. Japanese Cherry Blossom to me is a feminine soap and the cherry blossoms are pink and green for the tree okay on this one this is lemongrass so I used a yellow background and I put green and a little pink and yellow in there and this one is coconut pear so I did something fun with coconut pear but I try to match the, the fragrances and the colorants with the soap so with the fragrance oil so I think that people relate to that better. If you have any questions on the salad shooter, um, you can leave your uh, questions below. If you'd like to join our forum, we have a forum on Facebook. It's called um, Shout Out to Melt and Pour. And you're more than welcome. I'll leave the link below in the, um, in the comment section. And you're more than welcome to join us if you have any questions, if you'd like to talk to other soapers, uh, if you'd like to see pictures, where to buy stuff from, vendors that, are, um, that you can buy from to get your soap supplies from. So anyways, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, and if you want to see more videos, let me know. Um, I know I've been kind of out <laughs> of the 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 social life here is this, that mom and dad are doing fine dad turned 88 mom turned 86 this year um my mom's had a couple of little health issues but she's doing good and um you know i'm just taking care of both of them and you know i run two businesses so it's been a challenge and i miss you guys on youtube a lot and um like i said if you want to see more videos give me some information of what you'd like to see and I'll be more than happy to help you. Anyways, I hope I see you in my forum. I'll, I'm in there daily. I will say hi if you mention my name 
And uh, if you have any questions, we have some great admins in there that will help you um, and great people in there. So good luck in your journey, um, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.